Hey what's up YouTube, it's been a while but here's another video for me. Today I'm going to show you how I'm boosting my friends on Everlook in Maradon Purple. You can do this boost already from level 38, actually already from 35 but I recommend 38 plus up till 51. Alright so first thing first get into the dungeon and place the booster here obviously before or uh, after you pull these imps. Then you just blink here, it's really important that you utilize your blink and use it at the perfect moment. Counter spell this pack on the left and then you jump down here. Make sure to have up your ice barrier and your mana shield. So the different thing here compared to classic is you can't pull them up with spells, uh, you can't damage them. So you have to body pull them, that's why uh, it's a bit harder. Alright, so the idea is you're gonna pull and you're gonna have a guy tagging all the mobs. This is ideally a priest with Holy Nova. Holy Nova generates no threat, so as you saw before, you just place the tagger in the hallway where I just showed you. Right, so next thing you do is just take it and pull this pack I just pulled before with a counter spell, body pull this and then you blink away. If you feel uncomfortable with this uh, body pulling, you can bring swiftness potions. My signature is kinda not to use any consumables at all, but just raw skill. So that's what I'm gonna do in this video too, of course. So after you pulled all these mobs, you just jump down here and uh, pull these trees. Um, it's kinda easy, all you have to do is just to make sure you keep up your ice barrier and your mana shield all the time. And then you pull this pack with a counter spell again, and then you just uh, lay it up here. So you see my body Tiny Banis is placed here on the left. He is already now in position where he can start casting Holy Nova on the mobs, meaning that they will, get, they will be tacked. So the idea is, when he's tacking them, the boosted guy gets the tag too, because he's going to stay in the group with Tiny Banis. Uh, so this pack here on the right is sometimes it's pulled, sometimes it's not pulled, so that's why I'm running around like this. And uh, then I can body pull them so I can kill even more mobs. So that's the idea behind that. So just watch where all the mobs are. When they are somewhat close to you, you jump down again and then you just continue the pull. This entire dungeon takes, with killing phase and pulling and such, about 6 minutes to do. So uh, let me show you how I do it, I guess. Alright, so the next thing you're gonna do here is just... Uh, get a good distance to the mobs and then you can pull the leftover mobs that you didn't get before that means you can counterspell this guy you can let this other tree be body pulled with the pack when they uh, when they come for you or you can body pull it right away that's kind of up to you other than that you just basically leg it towards the first boss of the Maradon purple or the only boss i suppose Alright, so in here there are these uh, packs here in the middle. You can body pull these if you want to. You can counter spell pull them if uh, your counter spell is up. What I usually do is I just let them body pull with the with the group of mobs behind me. So it's important that uh, you have this great distance to the mob uh, or the mobs because if they get close to you, they're gonna kill you instantly. So this guy, you just fire blast the imp. The imps make uh, gives you the less experience, so it's better to just uh, attack that specific pack with just one uh, fire blast. All right, so make sure you blink uh, when you are up on the stairs, not before the stairs, because I have encountered problems with uh, blinking to the stairs makes you not move forward, but just blink uh, in the place where you're standing. So that will kind of wipe you. And also when you pull these trees down here and you need to blink away, it's very important you don't blink in the water. You have to be up on this uh, ramp here before you blink. If you blink when you're in the water up the ramp, you will uh, fall through the world. Right, so this pack here you can also just uh, pull with body or you can let the mobs pull them. Sometimes they don't pull, unfortunately. Uh, that is kind of annoying, so I recommend you to just body pull them. And other than that, you just uh, body, yeah, body pull everything basically and uh, blink away. 
So now you have pulled everything in Maradon Purple, you have about a hundred plus mobs chasing you right now, so it's all about getting in a good position now. So what you do here is just jump down and uh, then you run to the killing position. So the idea is now that I'm bringing all these mobs, I have a lot of untagged mobs with me. So Tiny Bennis is just gonna be tagging and spamming Holy Nova and all the mobs. Holy Nova generates no threat so they will all still come for me. So after Bennis has uh, attacked all the mobs, he's gonna run far into the dungeon, so he's out of range of all the mobs. I leave the group and then I start killing the mobs. Now the boosted guy has all the attacks, he will get full 100% uh, of the experience, which is a lot of experience because of, uh, you see, they all great to me. That means they all been tagged by Tiny Bennis, which is super nice. So this is the killing phase, you just uh, improve Blizzard on top of them, make sure to keep Blizzard up. And uh, when they are closer to you, you just basically jump down and uh, Blizzard again. My gear is somewhat pretty pretty above good for this pool, uh, so, so I kill them kind of fast. If you can kill them like this, as I'm showing you right now, you can take a lap around as we did in the beginning and uh, go again and just kite them around like that. The pull is very simple, the killing phase is super simple, however play it safe, if you feel uh, uncomfortable, um, like you think you're gonna wipe or something, just run out and reset, better to reset and not waste time. But yeah, this is basically it, I'm just uh, killing all the mobs here and when I'm getting low on my time, you see my timer is running out, I just accept the invite. If I somehow uh, type my uh, my leave the group thing badly. I can get an invite and uh, instantly leave the group. That will reset the timer and I will get another full minute to kill the mobs. So this is about uh, six to seven bars for the boosted guy per run. So you see he got seven bars in six minutes, which is kind of huge. So yeah, that's it. Enjoy the video. Hope you liked it and uh, see you in the next one.